Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So I'm gonna be talking to you about the new Hourglass launch, which is their Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I'm also going to be showing you some Sonia G brushes that I picked up and this is her new mini Kiyaki set and I am going to just show you how this applies this foundation as well as some hourglass products that I'm going to be doing just to create a look today to show you how this foundation looks. In between this video I'll also insert some check-ins where I tried this on for a 10 hour day and how it lasted throughout the day as well as photographs as well. So I hope this helps. We can have a look at these in a little bit more detail. So Hourglass have launched a ambient soft glow foundation. It's meant to be light diffusing weightless with 16 hour wear. It's 46 pounds in the UK and it comes in 32 different shades. A weightless liquid foundation that delivers 16 hour medium buildable coverage with a natural soft glow finish. Inspired by the iconic ambient lighting collection, this long wearing formula is infused with blurring spheres that provide a light diffusing effect, minimizing the look of imperfections for skin that look smooth, even and glowing in any light. The fluid texture is easily blendable and delivers a second finish skin for a complexion that looks seamless and lit from within. You get 30 mil worth of product. It's meant to blur imperfections, minimize the look of pores, fine lines and wrinkles, 16 hour wear, natural soft glow finish, transfer resistant, resistant to humidity and sweat, blue light protection, non acnegenic, non comedogenic, vegan and cruelty free. Key ingredients, light diffusing pigments that deliver a natural soft focus finish and help protect against blue light, blurring spheres, minimizes the look of imperfections, fine lines and wrinkles and provides a natural soft glow. Antioxidants help protect against free radicals, infused with white tea extract and vitamin E. So I picked up the color 11 and the reason I picked up 11 was because I did a color match and 11 was the best color for me. I may end up getting 10.5 in the winter but for now I think 11 will do me well. I wanted to show you the brushes that I picked up from Sonia G around the same time. These are five travel size brushes which are designed by Sonia G and crafted by skilled artisans. It's perfect for traveling and gives you everything you need to create a complete look in one pint size package. This limited edition set is made in small batches so once it's gone it's gone for good. Is So the first brush is the detail brush. This is a pencil brush for detail work with powder and cream eyeshadows for applying concealer with precision. So this brush is the second brush and this one is the crease brush. Silky crease brush that lays down color all over the lid, defines the socket and blends edges seamlessly. So the next brush is the Jumbo Worker, which is a versatile brush for powders, liquids and creams that's small enough to blend shadow, but big enough for blush and bronzer. So this is brush number four, and this is the Soft Face Brush, which is a fluffy face brush for applying and blending blush, bronzer, highlighter, and for finishing powders. And finally, this is brush number five. This is the Jumbo Base Brush, and this one is a mini version of the Fusion Series Jumbo Base for fast, flawless application of complexion products. This is the limited edition set of the Japanese made brushes in travel friendly mini sizes. Handles crafted from Japanese Keiaki are wood, prized for its durability and beautiful grain. Each handle is one of a kind, finished with a matte black ferrule that complements the wood's unique pattern. There's certain ones that you can use with creams and certain ones that you can use with powder only. So let me just show you the ones that you can use with creams and powders. So these three are the ones that you can use with creams and powders. The three that I would say you can use with creams and powders is the Jumbo Base. So I'm going to try using the Hourglass Foundation using that brush. I'm going to use the Detail Brush. I'm going to use concealer and use the Hourglass Concealer. For the Jumbo Worker, I might just use that just to blend the product out. And then these two are powder only. I'm gonna use the Universal Palette, which I did a review on a while back. And I'm gonna use this as a soft face. And then I'm going to use the Sonia G Crease Brush, 
which is her new one for my eyeshadow that I just picked up from Hourglass as well. So this is the foundation. Like I mentioned, it's 30 mil. I've had a few days of fun with this product. I did receive this on Friday, I think, and I wanted to try this when I was out so that I could give you a fair view on what I think of this foundation. So this is what it looks like in number 11. So I'm just gonna come forward and I'm gonna pump some of this onto my hand and I'm gonna show you the texture. So I'm gonna go with one pump for now and then we'll see how we get on. But can you see the texture? It's not runny, it's not too thick, it's just in between. And I have been using this for the last couple of days and I do like this texture. I am going to go in with the foundation now and I'm gonna use the Sonia G Jumbo Base Brush. I don't know if you can see, I've gone in with one layer because I think this is enough. Initially, the glow already is coming through and my skin looks really natural, but the glow is really complementing my face. It's making everything kind of blurred, but at the same time giving me this gorgeous, gorgeous glow. That is the foundation, and now we're gonna go in with some concealer. So I'm gonna use the Hourglass concealer that I have in the color Dune, which is slightly lighter than my skin tone. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand. With this concealer, this is the Vanish Concealer, a little goes a long way. So I'm going in with Sonia G's Detailed Brush. So I have the new Hourglass Soft Glow Foundation on in number 11 and I'll let you know how I get on throughout the day. So I have just put on the concealer using Sonia G's Detailed Brush and I really feel this is a great addition to the other brushes that she had from before. I feel like this was missing from the collection. Really good to be able to just get into detail. So I've used the concealer just to kind of go into parts where I need a little bit of extra help, but I do really like this brush as well. I forgot to mention with the jumbo base brush, it feels really compact and it feels like the foundation went on so easily. I didn't have to go in with another pump. I felt like the product all came off the brush and it feels as though I don't have a lot of product left here, yet the product sort of distributed itself around my face really well. So I do really love this jumbo base as well and I can imagine when I go away, I'm gonna take this brush with me. If you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen me do a look recently and I sort of suggested what was I trying out, what was I wearing and obviously now you see the video, this is what I was wearing. A lot of people asked about the glow, so now you know why I was glowing, it's because of this foundation, but also people were asking about the blush that I used. I actually used a whole compact, and this is the Ambient Lighting Edit in Universe, and I used this because I felt as though this is the Ambient theme and this is the Ambient foundation, so it only made sense to use the Ambient Lighting Edit in Universe, and. I thought it would be good to kind of show how if you're going away, especially right now when it's summertime, people are traveling, this is all you need really. So I did a, a review on this, so I will leave the link below. But this is the palette, and this is the magical color that everyone was asking about. 
This one is number two and it's called Strobe Blush Vibrant Heat. And I'm gonna do a similar look to the one that I did in the photograph, just to show you how easy it is to get this look with this whole sort of hourglass combination. And I'm gonna use Sonia G's brushes to show you that. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna use this brush as more of the blush brush. And then I'm going to use the soft face one to just do an all over face. And I'm also gonna show you some colors that I picked up from Hourglass, which were like the single colors that they have from the curator eyeshadows. And I'm just gonna do a look with that. So let's first of all go into this one. So this is the Jumbo Worker, and I'm gonna go into the bronzer shade first. So that's the bronzer shade. I'm now gonna go into that gorgeous blush that a lot of people commented on and said, what is that blush? So I'm gonna use the same brush. That is so pretty. I love this strobe blush because it's got sort of like a highlighting effect in one, so I don't necessarily need to go in with a highlighter. This brush is so multifunctional. I used it as a bronzer brush and as a blush brush, and you can see how well this works. So thank you, Sonia, for this one. This one is the Jumbo Worker brush, and it certainly does work, and it works very well. So I'm now gonna move into the eyeshadow. Once we've done that, I'm gonna use this other brush, which is the Soft Face brush, just to give an all over brush and powder. So if you sort of know about the curator eyeshadows from Hourglass, you'll know that they do these little cases where you can put the curation in. I purchased three new colors because I had this case, I had it engraved when I was in the store, but I never had anything inside it. So I wanted to pick some colors that were everyday colors that would work for my skin tone. So these are the three shades that I picked up. So this is the first color that I picked up. It's called Pro and it's in the formula matte. The next color I picked up was called Yes in the satin formula. And the final color that I picked up was Pow and it was in the metallic formula. So you take the colors and then you push them into the palette and that's how they snap in. So I thought it'd be good to show you how these work using the Sonia G crease brush and let's see how this looks. So we're going to take this shade first which is this satin shade called Yes. I've literally just put that shade all over my eyes and you can see how it complements this look. So we're now going to go into the shade on the right hand side which is called Pro and it's in the matte formula. It's really added some depth, which I love. So I've just added some of that under my eye. And then I'm gonna take this shade, which is POW, and it's in the metallic formula. It's really, really pretty. So this is the newly launched eyeliner and it's called Chestnut and it's their waterproof gel eyeliner. Finally, I'm gonna take the Sonia G Ambient Lighting Edit Universe and the color I'm going to take is the, the one on this side here, which is like an overall shade and this one is called Finishing Powder, Infinity Powder. So I'm gonna go in with my brush. This is a soft face brush. And I'm just gonna put the powder in the areas where I usually get quite oily or where it gets a little bit more shiny. This brush feels really soft on the face as well. So if you have sensitive skin, I mean, I would encourage you to get Sonia G brushes if you have sensitive skin anyway, but as part of this set, this feels very, very soft. So off camera, I'm gonna put on my mascara. Now, for love nor money, I can't seem to find my Hourglass mascara at the moment. So I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath mascara. I'm gonna put that on 
do a bit of my brow as well and I am going to put the Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm in the colour Slip which is one of the new colours from Hourglass. We'll put that on together on camera. I want you to see how glossy it makes my lips. So I'm just doing a 4.15 check-in. This is the foundation, I'm loving it. It looks really, really natural and gives me a really gorgeous glow as well. So I'll check in again one more time when I get home. This is the 6.30 p.m. check-in and it's still looking pretty good. I'm very impressed with this foundation. I have to admit, I've been getting a lot of compliments as well. It is a great foundation. It's wearing off a little bit because I'm hot, but other than that, it looks really, really good. Okay, so this is the final look and this is the kind of look that is my go-to when I want a natural glowy look. I am so impressed with this foundation. I wasn't sure what to expect because I have their Vanish stick, I have the previous launch that they did, I think it was the Vanish foundation and now I have the Soft Glow foundation and I think this may be my favourite hourglass foundation to date and that's saying a lot when I've had a lot of hourglass foundations which have been extraordinary by the way. I did my wear test which you would have seen me insert in this video and I found throughout the day that the foundation lasted very well. I was outside, it was hot so I was sweating but I felt that the glow was constantly still there and I didn't feel like I needed to top up, I just felt like it lasted very well throughout the day. I would say that it's medium coverage, it's not full coverage. So if you want full coverage, I would probably go with another brand because I think this is more of a natural finish. However, you could go in with two layers and then add more concealer if you felt like you needed more coverage. But for me, I felt that one pump was enough. And in fact, you know, it's still giving me a gorgeous glow with just one pump and Sonia G's brushes have really helped, I think, in getting this sort of finish together. With regards to Sonia's brushes, they are fantastic. What I will do is insert some pictures now of the two sets that I bought from Sonia G so you can see the difference. Now, in terms of size, I think they're quite similar, but I also think they don't cross over because I felt as though it was great to have that initial set that Sonia did with the mini Kiyaki set that she did before. I don't know if she called it that, but it is very similar to this set in terms of size. However, they all serve a purpose. So I think these are completing my mini collection, if that makes sense. So I'm really pleased now that I have a full collection that can do everything. And I really recommend if you have the older set, which was the mini set from before, to get this set because they complement each other really well and there are no crossovers in my opinion. I just wanted to show you the original set that I have and this is the new set that I have. I am going to include pictures so you can see the difference but these two are very complementary to each other and make this huge lovely mini set so there are no dupes for me. It's a great collection. With the original set, you have the mini base, the flat definer, the jumbo blender, the classic face, and the mini booster. So with the new set, you have the jumbo base, you have the soft face brush, you have the detail brush, you have the jumbo worker, and you have the crease brush. So they all serve a different purpose to the previous set.
And the brushes felt soft as I would expect from Sonia G. It was so great that I could use three out of the five with creams because I do have a lot of cream products as well and I like to use cream products during the summertime because my skin is literally melting because it's hot. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you enjoy this look. I wanted to show you this look because although there are products here that I've already reviewed, Sometimes it's nice to revisit those and to show you how they complement any kind of new launches from the same place. So for example, Hourglass, I feel as though with this foundation, they've really done a fantastic job. And then with the eyeliner and the uh, volumizing gloss that I have on now, these are major launches that have been, I believe, very, very successful. And I think that I'm I'm very happy that I purchased these. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments. Have you picked this up? Will you be picking this up? Have you any thoughts about what you think of the glow? Do you think I'm glowing? I personally think I am, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.